Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. Today is July 4th, 2016, and today is a national holiday in the United States, so no numbers coming out of the U.S. Uh, some markets will be affected, uh, and some trading uh, the uh, some of the symbols in the commodity and the indices will be affected by it, obviously. Um, uh, but Forex should be trading as usual. So uh, just really one number coming out of the United, of uh, GBP today. Uh, it's a construction PMI number coming out at 10.30 a.m. South African time. But looking at the markets, looks like we're rebounding a little bit. Let's look at the EURUSD. We're trickling up above this 111, 110-ish level, and then we're at 111.40-ish level even. So we're above this 111 about... 40 pips uh, so you see that it's trickling back you know it's it's slowly you know uh, things have been shaking off it's not jumping to 112 1, 113 but it's slowly getting back to some sort of resiliency um, at least in you know just uh, coming down from its lows of 109.55 so we're about 200 pips up from our bottom from the colossal Brexit move uh, so you see that there is a little bit of a uh, resiliency there. Um, looking at the Dow Jones, Dow Jones probably the most resilient, 17,880. We're right back up to this level right here. It looks like it's going to take it out and continue going up. I, you know, I, I think it's going to be still a bullish market in the uh, in the Dow Jones. I think things are going to continue going up. Uh, as you can see, this was a huge move down and a huge correctional move up uh, so things in the United States are quite uh, positive in terms of you know their outlook their economic outlook domestically looking at gold 1347 up two bucks just now um, and you see we're up from this uh, so monthly charts that's not going to be good let's look at a daily chart um, this was the brexit obviously move and then um, you know just continual upward movement uh, to this 1347 we're almost there it looks like it made like almost a double top right here at 1360 ish level uh, and we look like we just want to continue going up so you know we've been saying this just try to find a pullback and try to jump in 1308 was a decent entry point for this um, previous resistance resistance and then ultimate support right here um, let's put a line right there so we have that for next time um, but as you can see, I mean, we're resilient, you know, and this thing could still go up to 1397, 1400. We gave that, that's our, that's personally my target this year, 1400, and obviously that's, we're only, you know, 50 points away from that. So, you know, these things are showing strength. Gold is showing a lot of strength and resiliency. Looking at oil, oil underneath for $50 a barrel, uh, still some bearish sentiments on oil, so I wouldn't be surprised if we sell off a little bit, maybe hit into the $45 range. <clears throat> We're at this top range here at $49, and like I said, I'm not, you know, is it going to be this week, next week? I'm not sure, but you know, it looks like it wants to take it down. It's uh, showing some sort of resistance here at $50. Uh, and may stop right there. Look, let's look at the GBP USD. GBP USD bouncing right here, as you can see, just a little bit uh, in a four-hour chart. Um, <clears throat> you know, what can we say? You know, it's still dead in the water. It is bouncing a little bit. It's off its lows of 132, uh, about 90 pips away from that. But still, you know, we would have expected maybe a little bit more of a bounce to 135, close up this gap down. Uh, but you see that that's not happening. Uh, not at least for the GBP USD. Perhaps for the GBP Japanese yen. Let's put that up. Excuse me. Let's put this up. GBP Japanese yen also dead in its water. So, you know, the GBP is going to take some time until you see some sort of, you know, it waking up uh, on the upside and showing some sort of resiliency. Let's see how things uh, continue going into the fourth quarter. This is the fourth quarter. Um, June is an expiration month, so uh, many of the commodities and the indices will be uh, changing hand to September contracts, and just keep that in mind as well. Um, so that was June. Uh, but as we enter the, f the, the first month of, uh, or the second month rather, of the second quarter, uh, of the, excuse me, the third quarter, um, we see some 
you know, let's see if, you know, beyond, you know, the fourth, before we get to the fourth quarter, we'll have some sort of res, uh, resiliency in the GBP, uh, either the GBP Japanese yen or the GBP USD. So far, you know, it's dead in its waters. But there are other things to trade right now. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. I want to wish you guys happy holidays uh, and a great trading day. Thank you.